All right, here's our first attempt at a <coughs> aircrete box. Uh, quite a few things didn't go very well. Um, but, you know, uh, let's take a look here. So that's aircrete, and it's, it's fairly strong, all considered. I went for about one inch thickness, and this box is made by making uh, four, uh, three panels. Uh, the sides, the base, and the roof out of one panel, and then mounting that all into the mold and then casting the lower panel. And I think with some effort that methodology could work, but overall that was way too much effort. I'm hoping for something simpler and easier. Um, the strength is not quite adequate. We really need some compound curves or even some regular non-compound curves on these sides to give it more uh, rigidity or it will need more in the way of uh, cross beams or something like that. Um, it was far too much work to do these seams so I'm thinking that a method using uh, a mold that you fill with a, a batch and you raise and then you fill and then you raise and so forth where you make a, a seamless um, single unit out of aircrete would be much better. I'm also having a lot of trouble with the consistency of the aircrete. Like this particular piece here came out really really well. Very very fine bubbles um, uh, <coughs> and uh, felt nice and strong. Um, uh, this piece came out <coughs> excuse me okay but you can see the bubbles are quite a bit bigger and then this piece here didn't come out all that well at all so uh, I don't have um, I don't have very consistent uh, manufacturing yet uh, some some details in the methodology that have to be figured out but uh, is it a quick and easy storage box no not this not this round um, but I'm learning a lot and with a little bit of luck and some more thinking perhaps this can be turned into something that more like what I envision which is a pretty easy to build cheap uh, storage box that will sit out in the weather for 20 years without deteriorating.